We're back. And guess who's out? Sarah. You. All right, so Sarah's gonna help me for the next one. So the next point is you need to have your crew. You can't do it all by yourself. There's gonna be enemies or challengers or opposers or whatever with different skill sets that won't necessarily match yours. You need teammates who can handle those people. So for example, for Luffy, he needed a swordsman, he needed a navigator, he needed a sniper, he needed a cook. There's too many jobs to specialize. These people that you choose, they have to be on the same work wavelength as you. They have to have that same overarching goal that you have. Not the same one, but a goal that requires them to go to the same place because their goal is there too. Zoro's goal is to become the illest swordsman ever. The illest swordsman currently is actually in the grand line where they wanna go. Luffy wants to find the One Piece because the person with the One Piece is the king, king of pirates. So he has to go. And Kaya has to go there because she wants to map out the whole world because she wants to be the greatest navigator. And it goes on, you know? And they and these are promises that they made to their families and their, their people who they have at home or their people who they looked up to their past and they won't stop for nothing. Like they have that same great amount of ambition as Luffy does. And so when you're building your team, you need to find those kind of people. Another thing, everyone has on your team has to have embraced their shadow side. And your shadow side is like just the things that you naturally do that people look down as bad, but you learned how to use it for whatever purpose you have. Like, Kaya is a thief. Yusup, Yusup is a is a liar. Luffy is dumb as, dumb as nails. But they all know what separates them from the other and they all tend to use these skills in their fighting. Like, for for example, Yusup, he, he's conniving so he can finesse a uh, an opponent into thinking that he's <laughs> ouch, sorry. into thinking that he's in one place when he might be the other place and then he'll use his sniper skills to violate them you know well everyone has to embrace the shadow side because we can't have people who are doubtful of themselves and stuff like that everybody has to be on the same wavelength and willing to go to the same extent to accomplish their goal when you get to where you're going that's going to be the biggest challenge of all. What do you think, Sarai? Come on, baby girl. We're going to go make a smoothie. Ah. All right, Sarai. You tucked in, you buckled in. All right, so the next point that I learned is never take no for an answer. There's always a good reason why the person who specifically you chose out doesn't want to come along for the journey, but that reason is not permanent. It's just something they have to do before they can agree to leave where they're at. My advice for that from what I learned is just to stick around until you figure out how you can help the situation and relieve them of their stress. It's really all about helping other, helping others and being sincere. Because if you can help them out, they'll respect you for being able to help them out. And two, it's one of their challenges that stops them from really accomplishing their main goals. If you can help them solve their problem, that, show, that really shows your, your leadership ability. The ability to lead and come up with solutions for problems that might be larger than your own. For example, Kaya was from a village and she really, it seemed like she wanted, all she wanted was money. But she wanted money because her 
island, her whole island was just being taken over by bad pirates and they wouldn't and they wanted a hundred million for the island and even when she got the money they got the government to run out there and take her bread basically he was like the Ill the strongest pirate that luffy had even faced up to this point and no one could beat him because he was just strong luffy was the guy to actually help her get out of that bind you know what i mean like she would have never gotten out of there because he basically was disloyal to her he promised this and did not hear that. This is the case in many cases, even for Usopp. He, his whole city was about to be taken. No, his friend was about to be violated because she was rich by some undercover pirate. Luffy was able to handle that. And it's not necessarily about doing something to get something. It's really about, yo, I need you on my team. And I'm not taking no for an answer. And I'm going to show you that I'm the captain. I'm the person that you needs to be on your team. I'm the person you need to be around to, to reach greatness. So I would say when you're going out trying to get your crew, just make sure you don't take no for an answer. Once you've decided that this person needs to be on your team, this person needs to be on your team, regardless of anything. Whole time I was making a little smoothie. That is a smoothie. So the next one is just to be sincere, straightforward, yo, because really and truly, you don't want to do no manipulating. Even if your intentions are good, it makes people feel weird when they feel like they've been manipulated. Like, why would I even want to hang out with you? That's technically what your crew is going to be doing. Like, that's the people who you're going to be spending your time with all the time. If you start off by just manipulating them into coming on your team, it's not a good look. Well, not even only that, the people you pass by, just being honest, sincere, straightforward, those are the people who, in the end, are going to be able to vouch for you. Like, through it all, when everyone's talking down on your name, and, like the people who don't really know you, who never even met you, just talking shit based off of, off of the legend, the story that they heard, the people who have met you are the people who are going to be able to say, Yo, this person is actually a stand-up guy. If your track record is just straight up, I'm only been being positive, then they can't ever say you was on some other shit, really. But back to your crew, also, it's like, from the moment you meet them and you decide, okay, you're gonna be on my team, it's, it's like, I'm not gonna try to finesse you into being on my team. I'm telling you, yo, you're gonna be on my team. You just wait. Just watch, time will tell. And you, and you do what you do, you stick around, see how you can help them. Definitely, by the end, they'll appreciate, they'll consider what it is you wanted them to do in the first place. Based off of your actions going forward and you having just been uh, honest and helpful and helping them out in their, their troubles and not just being selfish about your own trouble. Basically, there's gonna be people that come along along the way. They're friendly, but they're not essential to the, you know, to the group. They're not part of the core crew. Don't be pressed when they're ready to go about their business. They were never a part of the initial plan, so you can't, you can't expect them to want to stay or have to stay. Don't get emotionally attached to people that just come around. You have to know who's the core people in your, in your crew. There was these brothers that knew Zoro and they were like, yo, we gotta get out of here because we can't be seen around pirates, X, Y, Z, boom, boom, boom. Zoro was like, nah, I got a mission to accomplish, you know what I mean? And I was like, wow, that's that's very important because oftentimes you're like, nah, you can't go, blah, blah, like, I need you to stay. 
say because it's so good having you. Even in my head watching the show, I'm like, ah, they were that cool. I wish they could stay. But at the same time, it's like we know who we need, and any more people, as much as it could help, it could also deter you from your actual mission. This would be distractions a lot of the time when it comes to accomplishing the real goal. And it's just like, nah, I chose these people because they got heart. They got something motivated, they got ambition. Things that are really, that I can see this going a long way for. It. And like, if you down to stay, you can stay. Totally, totally with that, but if you gotta go, peace. And it's the people that hate you that's really, that's gonna make you famous. They'll be talking about you and then they have the firepower to bring you down. Or they want to they wanna make alliances with other people who want to bring you down. You just in letting the whole, their whole network know like, yo, we got to take this man down. They're only going to make you more popular. But you being more popular also makes you a bigger target than ever before. People are going to be coming at you from left and right trying to take you down people you don't, you never even met people you don't, that never even seen you they only heard certain stuff about you they're gonna be want to take you down so being wanted now the whole world knows your name but now the whole world is on your back so once you get bigger you just got to be ready to be that target and you got to know that it's the challenges you face the people that the people the opponents that you face that's really gonna make your name ring louder than ever if that's what you want regardless regardless if you want it or not that's gonna make your name ring so you got to be ready to be a target and have not only the strongest but a high quantity of people on your on your body the final and most important one to know is Listen, man, it's never gonna get easier. Every single challenge you face, the next one is gonna be the hardest one. And even though the next one is the hardest one, the one you're facing right now will test you to the depths of your limits, like to your fatigue be and to fatigue, and you feel like you can't do anymore. But you have to dig deep down into your heart and really pull something out that you've never pulled before but the great thing about this is that this is what's gonna make you reach the next level one step stronger one step closer to being reaching that overarching goal that you spoke of in the beginning i feel like i've, I've experienced this when i'm like making a new song like i'll come up with a concept that i feel is way beyond my depths and it's harder for me to really complete than any other song before and I'll be stuck I'll be sincerely stuck but just having that just determination that heart to just keep going regardless knowing that you're gonna finish nonetheless is what's gonna prepare me for the next challenge which is gonna be harder than this one but I know that as long as I'm challenged to my very depths I will only get better and so it's just important to note that it's never gonna get easy so take that out of your mind one time every time you, you're still gonna get that feeling like fuck i gotta do this do this again but when you finish you're always gonna get that satisfaction that's like yes i fucking finished it yes i knocked that shit out point one get your overarching theme Get your overarching goal that you're gonna accomplish. Point two, ignore them stories. Them shits is not useful. Point three, if you don't have heart, you might as well give up right now. Yeah, lesson four, you gotta affirm your goals repeatedly. Almost as much as you breathe, you gotta affirm your goals. Five, get yourself a crew that matches your frequency, that matches your heart, matches your ter determination. Point six, stay honest, stay straightforward, and stay sincere. Seven, never take no for an answer. Eight, 
Your hair doesn't make you popular, but popularity will make you a bigger target. Point actual eight. Don't hold on to people who's not actually part of the, don't get so emotionally attached to people who are not part of the core foundational group of the crew. Lastly, challenges are not gonna get easier, so you better tell it in your mind from now that you'll face anything. Accept all challenges, accept all the feelings that you get, negative and positive. Because when you get that W, it's nothing like it. And then when you accomplish your goal, you don't got to tell me what that feel like. That's what you set out to do your whole life. So you ain't got to tell me shit. Uh, thank you for watching. If you got to the end, I, am, I deeply appreciate it. This is my second video. Feel me? So I'm really just figuring it all out really just figuring it all out i never vlogged before and it was just kind of fun to do you know it's something new for me so if you got any tips anything you want me to review anything you want to see just let the boy know hit me up right in the comments you know what i'm saying thank you salute